berries. Who doesn't love those sweet summertime fruits? But aren't they positively packed with sugar? And will they spike your glucose levels? We're here to answer the burning question, are berries good for diabetics? Stay tuned, because we're about to reveal the truth about these fruits that the American Diabetes Association lists as a superfood. So what's the secret behind these potential nutritional superstars? And are there any dangers associated with overeating these natural snacks? Before we jump in, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, stick around to find out how you can get two free gifts just from watching this video. Now, we hope you're very ready to discover the answer to today's mystery. Are berries good for diabetics? Eight important benefits revealed. When you think of berries, a few classics probably come to mind. Strawberries, raspberries, black and blueberries. But if you were to go by the botanical definition, which states that berries are fleshy fruits containing no pit, grown from a single flower containing only one ovary, then technically grapes, tomatoes, and even cucumbers could be classified as berries. But today, we're gonna keep it very simple. We'll look into all your favorites, like those delicious strawberries, plus the ever popular raspberry, and we won't forget about blueberries, black currants, cranberries, and elderberries. So, in general, you're probably wondering, what are the benefits of berries for diabetics? Number eight, berries are nutrient rich. Naturally, most any berry will provide a long list of phytonutrients to aid your health. One excellent phytonutrient you gain within many berries is elagic acid. You can find this phenol antioxidant inside raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, and cranberries. A study published in the Journal of Medicinal Food concluded that elagic acid showed good potential for the management of hyperglycemia and hypertension. And recent animal studies found that elagic acid increases glucose consumption and stimulates insulin secretion. Plus, Berries are an excellent source of antioxidants, which can play a role in preventing the development of diabetes. Antioxidants found in berries include vitamin A, vitamin C, and manganese. Vitamin A can help slow macular degeneration. Vitamin C can help to lower post-meal glucose levels. And manganese, found largely in the pancreas, aids in the production of insulin. Berries also contain carotenoids, antioxidants which have been shown to lower the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Many berries are also high in potassium, which is an important nutrient to acquire through your diet if you've been managing erratic glucose levels. Studies show that having low potassium levels can lead to less insulin production and higher blood sugar. And data shows that people with low levels of potassium have a heightened risk of developing type 2 diabetes. So yes, berries are a quick and delicious way to include a whole lot of diabetes-fighting nutrients into your diet. Number 7. Berries Lower Bad Cholesterol Is cholesterol really as bad as they say? Actually, no. The truth is, certain types of cholesterol help our organs function properly. And every cell in the body uses cholesterol as a building block for cell membranes. So face it, you need cholesterol. But we should all watch out for the wrong type of cholesterol. That being LDL cholesterol. This is the form of cholesterol which can clog your arteries and increase your chances of heart disease. It's largely found within the typical culprits, like fried foods and baked goods. But studies show that certain berries can actually lower the amount of LDL cholesterol in your body. According to the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry, the phenolic compounds within some berries can significantly decrease LDL buildup and thus reduce the risk of heart attacks and strokes. The study found that blackberries had the biggest inhibitory effect on LDL cholesterol among berries. But other berries that were found to lower LDL levels include strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. Another beneficial compound found within many berries is pectin, a form of soluble fiber which has been shown to lower cholesterol levels by as much as 10%. Number 6. 
Berries fight inflammation and oxidative stress. Inflammation is the body's attempt to fight against infections or injuries. For someone managing diabetes, insulin levels may have an impact on tissue in the body, and this could lead to inflammation. But even if you aren't currently dealing with a diabetes diagnosis, research shows that inflammation is a root cause of chronic diseases such as Alzheimer's disease and, yes, diabetes. Luckily, many berries carry powerful anti-inflammatory properties and can help battle cancerous oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is an imbalance of free radicals and antioxidants within the body. This can cause damage within the body's cells and tissues, and chronic high blood sugar can damage the linings of blood vessels. And in turn, this can cause oxidative stress. This may then lead to the buildup of fats and cholesterol on the artery walls, otherwise known as atherosclerosis. So adding valuable antioxidants from berries to your normal diet is a great way to fight back against those free radicals. Berries also contain antioxidant flavonoids, which have been shown to protect the fluid within cells from inflammatory damage. Plus, anthocyanins, a specific type of flavonoid pigment found in extremely high concentrations within berries, don't just give them their brightly colored skins. They also supply potent antioxidant properties, and multiple studies have shown their ability to decrease inflammation, reduce the risk of certain forms of cancer, and improve insulin sensitivity. We're about to break down the five biggest benefits of berries. But first, it's time to give you two very unique benefits. You can grab two free gifts from us right now, just by clicking the link in the description below. Delve into an entire world of diabetes fighting nutrition benefits by exploring our new ebook, Superfoods for Diabetics. Plus, discover exclusive insights from the minds of leading medical and nutritional professionals by watching episode one of that diabetes documentary. Both gifts can help you get your health back on the right track, so click that link below. And now, back to the list. Number 5. Berries are full of fiber. Yes, berries are high in sugar, but their high fiber content helps negate the negative effects of that sugar, as well as glucose from other food sources. As you most likely know by now, Fiber helps to slow the absorption of sugar and can improve both immediate post-meal and long-term fasting blood sugar levels. Fiber also works to keep your gut healthy and aids in weight management. So, as berries have one of the best fiber per calorie ratios on the planet, these tiny flavor-packed treats can be a perfect addition to your plate. Strawberries contain 2 grams of fiber per 100 gram serving. Blueberries supply 2.4 grams of fiber per serving. Raspberries will give you 7 grams per serving. Whichever berry you choose, you really can't go wrong in the fiber department. But the berries that are particularly high in fiber include those wonderful red raspberries, along with boysenberries, blackberries, and elderberries. So, Utilize fiber-rich berries, and add a handful to your next dessert to help you avoid a blood sugar spike. Number 4. Berries Improve Heart Health Special cells, called endothelial cells, line your blood vessels, and they help control blood pressure while keeping your blood from clotting. But a high amount of inflammation can damage these cells, which may lead to heart disease. We call this endothelial dysfunction. Luckily, berries have been shown to reduce the inflammation which can cause endothelial dysfunction. In fact, a recent study published by the National Library of Medicine revealed that consuming one blueberry smoothie per day significantly improved endothelial function for participants. Those antioxidant polyphenol anthocyanins found in most any berry have been shown to improve heart health by reducing LDL cholesterol levels, decreasing oxidative stress, and strengthening arterial function. Plus, most berries supply a great amount of the powerful antioxidant vitamin C, and multiple studies show that vitamin C acquired from whole foods can be beneficial for heart health. Vitamin C can improve nitric oxide production of the endothelium, which can work to reduce high blood pressure. Studies show that black raspberries and strawberries specifically help to lower cholesterol, 
and can work to prevent LDL cholesterol from becoming oxidized, which is a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Thus, there are multiple reasons why most any berry can be immensely beneficial to your heart health. Number 3. Berries Lower Disease Risks So, we now know some of the great benefits of berries for diabetics. But did you know they also help to lower the risk of other diseases? You can utilize berries in your fight against certain forms of cancer, Alzheimer's disease, depression, and, as already mentioned, berries help to lower the risk of heart disease. Studies show that the antioxidant components of berries act as a protectant against cell damage. Specifically, anthocyanins, ellagic acid, and resveratrol, found within most berries, may reduce the risk of several types of cancer. In fact, a recent study concluded that strawberries have a protective effect against liver cancer. Meanwhile, a separate study found that adding cranberries to your regular diet can reduce several risk factors for coronary heart disease. And other studies have shown that regularly eating raspberries can reduce the size of cancerous tumors. Plus, the many anti-inflammatory compounds found within berries have been shown to lower inflammatory markers in the body, which can work to decrease obesity while reducing the risk of cancers, cardiovascular disease, and even Alzheimer's disease. Number 2. Berries Reduce Post-Meal Blood Sugar Yep, thanks to the fiber, antioxidant, and vitamin contents within berries, they can help to lower your glucose levels after you eat. According to a recent study, incorporating two cups of red raspberries into a high-carb meal significantly decreased post-meal blood sugar and insulin levels for pre-diabetic participants. Strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries have been shown to improve blood sugar control by increasing glucose clearance from the bloodstream. However, pound for pound, perhaps the most beneficial berries for reducing post-meal blood sugar are black currants. Studies have revealed that, due to their extremely high amount of anthocyanins, consuming just a small amount of black currants can help balance post-meal blood sugar by lowering its rise and delaying its fall. But pretty much any berry can be put to good use during your meal to help lower the risk of a post-meal glucose spike. And now, possibly the very best benefit of regularly consuming berries when it comes to your diabetes management is… Number 1. Berries Improve Insulin Sensitivity Berries help to increase insulin sensitivity in both healthy people and in diabetics. A recent trial concluded that obese participants who drank two blueberry smoothies a day for six weeks had a greater improvement in their insulin sensitivity than participants who drank non-berry smoothies. Studies also found that the high polyphenol amounts in strawberries and cranberries can improve glucose uptake by reducing inflammation in insulin-sensitive tissues. And other research has revealed that regularly eating a mix of fresh berries can work to delay the postprandial insulin response and decrease insulin resistance, especially for overweight individuals. Of course, in the end, you'll still want to make sure to include a variety of other foods to improve your insulin sensitivity and blood sugar levels. So don't forget about leafy greens, whole citrus fruits, and healthy sources of protein, like beans and lean meats. Alongside your diet, other factors to improve your insulin sensitivity include getting regular exercise and quality sleep each day, or, you know, each night. So. Are berries good for diabetics? Yes. Of course, as is the case with most any food, you'll still want to watch your portions. Most berries aren't too high in calories. A 100 gram serving of strawberries contains only 33 calories. Raspberries supply 53 calories per serving. And blueberries clock in at about 57 calories per serving. Still, all berries can contain a significant amount of carbohydrates but they also come loaded with dietary fiber to help your body process the carb load. Strawberries house about 7.7 .7 grams of carbohydrates per 100 gram serving, but they'll supply 2 grams of fiber. Blueberries can give you perhaps the highest carb amount among berries, clocking in at about 14.5 grams of carbohydrates per serving, with just 2.4 grams of fiber to counteract the high sugar amount. 
Therefore, you may want to keep your blueberry portion to a small handful. But while raspberries can supply about the same amount of carbs as blueberries, they'll give you upwards of 7 grams of fiber per serving. So, they'll still provide a benefit for your post-meal glucose control. Naturally sweet, but amazingly nutritious, most any berry will provide incredible health benefits. Berries can help you fight inflammation, lower the risk of cancer, aid in weight management, and improve your insulin sensitivity. But now we'd like to know, what's your absolute favorite berry, and why? Tell us all about it in the comment section below. Plus, don't forget to grab your two free gifts by clicking the link in the description box below. And before you go, remember to like this video and subscribe to the Diabetes Smarts channel. We'll keep bringing you all the latest tips and tricks on how you can fight back against obesity and diabetes. Thanks for watching. We truly hope you're having a happy and healthy day.